Hi guys, we continue with the unit one in the secure communication topic. In this video, we are focusing on the transmission security. We need to know that the first time what is the application layer or why we are focusing on this layer. The application layer is a layer in the OC model and the only one that directly interacts with the end user. It consists of protocols that focus on process to process communication across an IP network and provides a firm communication interface and end user services. The application layer provides many services including the simple mail transfer protocol, the file transfer, the web surfing, web chat, email clients, network data sharing, virtual terminals and many files and data operations. The application layer provides full end user access to a variety of shared network services for efficient OC model data flow. This layer has many, has many responsibilities including the error handling and recovery, the data flow over a network and full network flow. It is also used to develop network based applications. And for that we need to know about some protocols and services that interact in this layer application or in this application layer because we are uh, focusing on uh, secure our applications for the next subject and we need to know what it's a SCP. The secure copy protocol is a means of securely transferring computer files between a local host and a remote host or between two remote hosts. The secure copy it's a protocol based on SSH that is a secure shell that provides secure file transfers between two computers. With secure copy protocol you can quickly transfer files using the command line which is often faster and easier than using a client with a graphical interface. Additionally, you can use this command line functionality in your own batch files and scripts to automate file transfers. The SCP runs over TCP port 22 and it's by default this port and according to the open SSH developers in April of the year ago the security copy protocol is outdated, inflexible and not readily fixed and they recommend the use of more modern protocols like SFTP and AirSync file transfer for file transfer and then we need to know what means the SFTP. This is a SSH file transfer protocol. It's a secure file transfer protocol and it runs over SSH protocol. It supports the fully security and authentication functionality of SSH. The the SFTP port number is the SSH port 22 2, like the secure copy protocol and it is basically use an SSH server only once the user has logged in the server using SSH can the SFTP protocol be initialized. Many SFTP client implementations are available and some clients for this uh, 
protocol are the Technia SH client, the Win SCP and FileZilla and the Puri. And we have some servers in the Technia SSH client for to implement the SSH implementation. And what else? Most organizations uh, use to the open SSH as the server and this come with uh, SFTP server and the client too. But what is the SSH? The SSH protocol, also referred as Secure Shell, is a method for secure remote logging from one computer to another. It provides several alternative options for, for, for strong authentication and it protects the communication security and integrity with strong encryption. It is a secure alternative to the non-protect login protocols like Telnet and Erlogin and insecure file transfer methods like FTP. The protocol works in the client-server model, which means that the connection is established by the SSH client connection uh, uh, connecting to the SSH server. The SSH client drives the connection setup process and use public key cryptography to verify the identity of the SSH server. After the setup phase, the SSH protocol uses the strong symmetric encryption and hashing algorithms to ensure the privacy and integrity of the data that is exchanged between the client and server is uh, good. And that are some protocols for the communication between two uh, two devices but now we need to know what is HTTPS the hyper transfer protocol secure it's the secure version of the HTTP which is the primary protocol used to send data between a web browser and a website the HTTPS is encrypted in order to increase security of data transfer this is particularly important when users transmit sensitive data such as by logging into a bank account, the email service or health insurance provider for example. The HTTPS use an encryption protocol to encrypt the communications. The protocol is called the Transport Layer Security or the TLS although formerly it was known as Secure Socket Layer or SSL. This protocol uh, secures communication by using what's known as an asymmetric public key infrastructure. This type of security system uses two different keys to encrypt communications between two parties, the private key and the public key. The HTTPS prevents websites from having their information broadcast in a way that that's easily viewed by anyone snooping on the network. Technically speaking, the HTTPS is not separate protocol from HTTP. It is simple using the TLS or the SSL encrypt encryption over the HTTP protocol and HTTPS occurs based upon the transmission of TLS or SSL certificates which verify that a particular provider is who they, are, they say they are. And what it's an, uh, an SSL certificate? 
the SSL certificates are what enables websites to move from HTTP to HTTPS which is more secure and SSL certificate it's a data file host in a website origin service server and the SSL certificates make SSL and TLS encryption possible and they contain the website public key and the website identity along with related information the bases attempting to communicate with the origin server will reference this file to obtain the public key and verify the server identity the private key is kept secret and secure for an SSL certificate to be valid, domains need to obtain it from a certificate authority. A certificate authority is an outside organization, a trust third party, that generates and gives out the SSL certificate. The certificate authority will also digitally sync the certificate with their own private private key allowing client devices to verify it most but not all uh, certificate authorities will charge a fee for issuing an SSL certificate once the certificate is issued the it needs to be installed and activated on the website origin server, server the web hosting services can usually handle this for website operator, operators once it's activated on the origin server the website will be able to load over HTTPS and all traffic to and from the website will be encrypted and secure and now the Google Chrome for example the Google Chrome browse, browser just can uh, load the HTTPS uh, pages because they are uh, eliminating the use of the HTTP and for example if you are uh, testing some local application you may have some problems to uh, open this uh, website in the HTTP protocol because the Google Chrome just are open in the HTTPS and maybe you need to load this kind of websites in other web browsers for example like Mozilla that uh, gives the opportunity to load uh, the websites in the HTTP protocol and now we need to know what it's a, a set the secure electronic transaction or set is a system which ensures security and integrity of electronic transactions done using credit cards in a scenario the set is a it's not some system that enables payment but it, it it is a secure protocol applied to those payments it uses different encrypt, encryption and hashing techniques to secure payments over internet down through credit cards the set protocol was support in development by major organizations like visa mastercard Microsoft which provide its secure uh, transaction technology or the STT and Netscape which provide technology of secure socket layer or the SSL the set protocol uh, restricts revealing of credit card details to merchants to skipping hackers and thievers Ad, ad by. the set protocol includes certification authorities for making use uh, of standard digital certificates like the x.509 certificate 
and this is helpful helpful for for example some application that interacts or need to use some uh, electronic transaction or maybe for one e-commerce the SMTPS it's a simple mail transfer protocol secure it's a method for securing the SMTP using the transport layer security it is intent to provide authentication of the communication partners as well as data integrity and confidentiality the SMTPS is not a property uh, protocol and not an extension of SMTP it is a way to secure the SMTP at the transport layer by wrapping SMTP inside the TLS conceptually it is similar to how HTTPS wraps HTTP inside TLS this means that the client and server speak over SMTP at the application layer but the, but the connection is secured by SL, SSL and the or TLS this happens when the TCP connection is established before any mail that data and has been exchanged signs whether or not to use the SL, SSL or TLS is not explicitly negotiated by the peers services that speak SMTPS and are usually reachable on a dedicated port of their own and similar to SMTP S we have the IMAP S the IMAP S is uh, the internet message access protocol and it's an internet standard protocol used by email clients to retrieve email message from an email from a mail server over TCP IP connection IMAP was designed with the goal of permitting complete management of an email box by multiple email clients therefore clients generally leave message on the server until the user, the user explicitly deletes them the internet message access protocol is an application layer internet protocol that typically listens on well-known port 143 while imap over ssl or imap s use the 993 and that are some of the protocols and security services in the transmission of information and there are in the application layer and that's it guys see you soon in the next video and remember probably UTR